So for the first time in over two and a half years, Allie and I are going on a proper vacation. You know, not a friend's wedding weekend to Cincinnati, Ohio, or an overnight trip to drink beer in Munster, Indiana. For the seventh time. <laughs> a real out of office escape to California's Bay Area, which honestly is like our happy place. Plus, Allie's brother Nick lives out there. So this video is entirely dedicated to this trip. And let's just agree to skip the cliche packing to airport to airplane montage and just get the sunnier weather right away. Drone, do what you do. Cover your eyes, promise not to look. Cause I got some good news for you. How's it feel? Good. I'm glad to be standing in long flight. I've really only got three full days, so I'm gonna cram all of the traveling and fun and eating and eating into this video as possible for one big California super vlog. So let's go. First stop, a proper vacation deserves a proper breakfast burrito. Bang. And no one, I mean no one, does not better than California. Oh my god. You could argue Mexico, I get that, but I'm in California to deal with it. Making memories. Alright, well breakfast burritos hit a little harder in California, so that was amazing. A little breakfast and headed straight to Sonoma wine country. when I get the aux cord. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Great. Sonoma Valley Wine Trolley. What up, fam? Welcome to Sean Ely goes on a trolley for the second time. What was that? <laughs> On that vacation two and a half years ago in the summer of 2019, we got open air trolleyed around the Napa Valley and fell in love with the whole concept of exploring this way. So we were excited to do it again, but this time in the Sonoma Valley. So the first vineyard we went to in Sonoma was B.R. Cohn, who was actually the manager for the Doobie Brothers for the past 40 years, which is <laughs> random and awesome. We're taking shots of olive oil. Mine's vinegar. Oh, that is kind of weird. You're not gonna, you're not gonna like that. No. Wine greater than sign olive oil. <laughs> you just like take a shot of balsamic vinegar? I mean, I didn't take a shot of it. I took like a mini set. I mean, these are shot glasses. I'm gonna do the Cabernet vinegar. <laughs> oh. There's people on this trip wearing hats like this, so should I get one of these? <laughs> I have a sip of your finest wine, miss. Dog collar, bottle opener. Why? 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 What dog is opening a bottle? I think that you're such a drunk that you're like, hold on, the dog will carry it. Yeah. It does have a bone. Oh, come here. Come here. <laughs> How's it going? Next stop, VJB Vineyards and Cellars in Kenwood. More wine, more wine, more, you get you get the point. Be fierce, eggnog gelato, be fierce. It's incredible. Maybe I do like eggnog and I gotta stop fighting it. I don't, I feel like it doesn't really taste like eggnog. It's insane. Have you had too much wine yet? Ooh, get in there. <laughs> so what's your favorite thing about California? Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Mayo, everybody. How's it going today? Good, how are you? And 
our tasting piece just 20 bucks. So is everybody in? Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. All right, my kind of team. All right. And the final spot was Mayo Family Winery, which was a super small operation. And they just kept pouring us more wine and more wine, and it was just a great time. Drier than I thought. <laughs> what up, guys? Welcome to Pit My Ride. Today we got a. Do you think that bit worked? Stop it. What's your favorite part of California? The alcohol. We finished off the night with dice and darts, obviously, before turning in. But tomorrow, big day. Hey, check it out. They put a bunch of lights on a palm tree. Cool. So the next day we woke up and drove northwest to the Point Reyes National Seashore. We did McClure's Beach and we hiked along this super, super wide beach to this epic looking Nickelodeon aggro crag that was way more intense than I realized, but the views were nuts. Just 360 blues and greens and aqua and it was super warm. So we actually hiked back down those rocks, splashed around in the water a little bit. Which at this point, Allie took it upon herself to start just doing yoga and asking us to take photos of her, and then she did her normal little... Yeah. Then it was back through the rocks, to the trail, into the trail head, where we headed out and saw some elk. What's up, buddy? And then you have to release, gorgeous, and you can get rid of the top, and then you'll Despite being it. utterly exhausted from all that, we hit a seafood market and snagged fresh oysters to shuck as an appetizer before dinner at Nick's house. Look how beautiful these oysters are. Ooh! I feel like you did that really well. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. you got a good, good little shot. That's amazing. Then it was salmon steaks on the grill, prawns and scallops on the stovetop, as well as garlic butter, asparagus, and skillet potatoes. Overall, just an epic mishmash of everything I could ever want. Yeah. Salmon steak. Damn. Acting as a base for the beer we'd crush before hitting a bar for some pool to end the evening. My favorite spot in Northern California to get late morning breakfast, Cafe Pacifica. Every single time we come here, we go there multiple times. This is one of the things they're most known for. This is the gangster wrap. Crispy bacon, eggs, peach salsa, mango, avocado, cheddar cheese, hash browns, tortilla. Very California. Cheers. The peach salsa and the mango mixing with that. And the way it's all layered, California just does stonery breakfast foods better than anywhere else. Insane. After breakfast, we stomped around Pillar Point Bluff and the Frenchman Reef Trail before I asked when we could stop with all the gorgeous scenery and the local art. I like that somebody saw this view and thought to themselves, hold on, I got some art. I'm inspired by some art. Bang, now it's perfect. And just let me belly up to the bar. It's my comfort zone. So Nick understood the assignment and immediately took us to the Moss Beach Distillery. Anchor Steam Beer Battered Artichoke Hearts, okay? insane. That thing's perfect. Seafood quesadilla. This has got prawns in it. Crab cake. It's so crumbly. Cherry wood smoked bacon cheddar slider. Mm -hmm. To avoid inevitable food coma status, we hiked again from there before regrouping and heading to one of my favorite cities on planet Earth, downtown San Francisco.
Yeah, I was riding dirty. These are the Sutro baths. This used to be six heated pools of like different temperatures. This was built in the late 1800s. Here's it before. And here's it now. Wild. This is the giant. All right, quick stop at the Park Chalet at the Golden Gate Park. I got it right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. They got the Christmas sale. I got the IPA shocker. That's smooth. That's lovely. Pacific clam chowder. Here we go. I feel like I'm going to burn my mouth. It's insane. It's insane. It's so good. You know, we don't get a lot of chowders in the Midwest. Creamy, clammy, salty. Perfect. Damn, that's good. That is actually really good. It's incredible. Tamales Bay oysters. Cheers. So excited. Live next to the ocean, they said. Alright, it's like we never left Chicago. Time to roll. Honestly, just a really efficient way to get around the city. <laughs> per Allie's request, a proper downtown San Francisco bar crawl. Ooh, that's good. I like that one. Right? Ah, thank you. That small little store was just giving out shots of whiskey and... I haven't been given liquor since I was in East Lansing. <laughs> God bless San Francisco. We went to an authentic German restaurant. San Francisco is Germany. Deep fried German brie in some sort of a marmalade. There it is. Yeah. Lamb sausage. That's upsettingly good. German mustard greater than sign every other mustard. San Francisco, Germany, nice job. And when Sean's saying San Francisco, Germany confidently into a camera lens, you know that's probably the last clip he had on the memory card. <laughs> the next morning we had to head to the airport, but first a little more scenery with the drone and a little more food. So something I've never had for another episode lit is El Salvadorian pupusas. And California has a lot of El Salvadorian cafes, diners, so I'm gonna snag three of those right now. Oh, thank you so much. Hey. Have a great day, thank you. Guy was awesome. Wow. Literally made it from scratch. I bet this is gonna be fire. So excited for this. Some coleslaw in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Some kind of sauce. It's a shadier spot. Okay, now you can actually see it. Just a flatbread, but it's so full of stuff. A little cheese. Look how gorgeous these things are. Okay, I think this one's jalapeno and cheese. Oh my god. Oh, that's delightful. That cheese bowl. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. I'll show you this one too. Chicharrones, beans. Mmm. Yeah. Well, I'm a fan. 
All right, guys, that's a super vlog. Thank you so much for watching the California video. This view and this coffee every morning, I'm going to miss this. But see you back in Chicago. Plenty of videos to come. Cheers. California, where do I start?